Hi, I'm the Recruiting Maven and welcome back to my channel. So just want to say a quick thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I deeply appreciate your continued support. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have an ever-growing playlist with career tips and advice. And for those of you who are looking for a more one-on-one -on -one coaching or resume writing services, please make sure you check out my information in the description box below. With that said, I wanted to dive into today's topic of conversation, and that is how to talk to your boss about a difficult coworker or somebody that you're just not getting along with at work. Uh, my first tip, and I think my greatest tip, is really document that situation, especially if it's somebody that is toxic, somebody that possibly you are scared of. And so at least you have some documentation if anything should happen and hopefully nothing ever does. But um, yeah, I've <laughs> I haven't personally experienced any of that, but I've you know I've certainly been uh, sort of a witness to a couple of squabbles and they weren't very good. So make sure make sure that you are documenting that situation. With that said, um, you know, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is that you're not coming off as you're whining and complaining, that you're tying that situation or that, that conflict more, instead of a personal conflict, to tie it into your profession. So possibly you say to your boss, look, um, so-and-so is taking a lot of personal phone calls and I know they're going through a lot right now. Um, however, the, the issue being is that it's being disruptive to my my phone calls and my clients. And when I talk to them, they can hear all the, this that's going on. And now they're asking me about it and um, it's, it's causing problems. And um, so again, approach it more in a, in a non-personal way, but more of a you know, professional issue, you can't complete your work because it's the behavior so disruptive type of approach, okay? Um, the other thing is, is that, and, and I have worked in a, in a similar situation where somebody was doing, really taking a lot of personal phone calls and going through a divorce and it was just bringing everybody in the office into that whole um, situation that they were in and it was really chaotic uh, I'm sad to say and and it was very disruptive and it was very negative and ultimately you know I just had to walk into my um, to my boss's office and say hey can we make an appointment um, I need to talk to you about something and it's a it was a very small office and um, you know, who's actually really good about it. And that, that's, that leads to my next tip. And that is really one of, if you're in a very small office, it's hard for everyone to keep, you know, not knowing what everybody else is doing. Cause maybe there's 10 to 20 of you. That's not a lot of people. And so nothing really goes, you know, unnoticed if you will. So what I did is I made an appointment after work with him. And um, so my suggestion is you can either do that or possibly come in a little bit early um, so that nobody else is, you know, listening in or passing by the, you know, the door. And now you're having to close the door, and especially in a small office, that doesn't gel well a lot of times. Um, people know that that's a serious conversation. So, you know, you don't want to leave that office and then have to, you know, try and explain yourself to anyone else. So, you know, maybe before or after your work hours might be a better time to discuss it with your boss. Definitely, at least on all levels, no matter the size of the company, make an appointment with your boss and discuss the issues. Be prepared. Again, don't come off as being whiny and complaining. Keep it to that level of it being more of a professional issue. You're having difficulties with that person, maybe getting their, you know, you doing your work because they're not doing theirs. Um, so, so keep that again professional um, and make sure that if you've had a blowout with that person that you're not just rushing into your um, boss's office and just then it just becomes venting because the anger gets involved and you're not thinking clearly and then it just it makes you come off again being unprofessional and so that's you don't you don't want to do that and a lot of bosses do not want to get involved in personal squabbles and that's how it's going to come across as opposed to it's preventing me from doing my work and so then that's that becomes 
very serious, right? Um, you can also, and, and this is my last point, you can also ask your boss for, for guidance, you know, more of a mentoring how to approach the situation that you don't want to get that person in trouble, you don't want any disciplinary action, but you, maybe you need some guidance on how to handle the situation because, you know, you want to continue the relationship and for it to flourish in a positive way. However, you don't want to alienate that person when you have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And, you know, your greatest point or your greatest goal is to maintain a professional and a good working relationship. So, so that way, even if you are involving your, your boss early on in the situation, that at least, you know, they, the, your boss knows that you're trying to handle that in a professional manner. Um, and I will say that it, in going back to that first tip, um, just make sure if it's a very toxic situation, you know, you, you, when you come into that meeting with your boss that you say to that, you know, do you say to your boss, listen, I want to transfer or, you know, what else, what are my options? Because this is not doable for me, but be prepared. Um, you know, don't just offer options that you're not comfortable with. And also you may not know what your boss may, may or may not offer and you may or may not like it. So make sure that when you go in there, you're prepared to, to deal with the situation again in a professional manner. And I keep saying that because when it comes to, you know, difficult people in the workplace, they, you know, we spend so much time, I know they can really get under your skin and you just, there are days you can't seem to get away from them. I, yeah, I've had that experience and, um, and, and, you know, we're all just trying to get our work done and we, you know, it, maybe that person will never be your best friend, but you're just trying to move through your day as best possible. So hopefully you found some value in my um, items that I discussed with you. With that said, I, I do truly appreciate your viewership um, and your subscriptions. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Again, if you're looking for more coaching um, sessions with me one-on-one -on -one, or perhaps you need some resume writing, um, services, please make sure you, you uh, check out the description box below. And with that, hopefully you're having a wonderful afternoon and a great rest of your week, and I will see you in my next video.